Here's how I look at vulnerability. Yeah. It's like you and I going into a sword fight and you're not wearing any armor. Like, that means you're tough. If you're willing to fight me and I've got a sword and you're not wearing any armor, that's the definition of strength and toughness. It's not the opposite. And being vulnerable is a masculine trait and it's, it's the key to connection with anyone. The ability to be vulnerable is one of the greatest and most difficult leadership lessons any of us can learn. Um, but it is so important to building trust when people see us as human. As we always do, we had one of our company uh, all, all hands meetings. I said, I'm, I'm going through it, guys. I said, I'm really struggling hard. I said, my sleep pattern's off. I'm not motivated. I'm struggling to ask for help. I'm going through this. And I just need you to all be a little patient with me. I'm figuring it out. I'm sorting it out. I'm asking for help. But I'm, I'm not going to be very good right now. And I just need you, as a team, I need you to be patient with me. That I did that to my team um, made it possible for them to do that to me. If I had pretended that I was happy throughout all of it, I would have put pressure on everybody who was struggling to pretend that they were being happy. And the worst part about that as a leader is then how can I help if I don't know? All I'm saying about vulnerability is that when you are in uncertainty, when you feel at risk, when you feel exposed, don't tap out. Stay brave, stay uncomfortable, stay in the cringy moment, lean into the hard conversation, and keep leading. Stay brave. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you need to overshare. I'm not saying you need to disclose. I'm not saying you need to weep uncontrollably to show how human you are. I'm saying try to be aware of your armor. And when you feel vulnerable, try not to transform up. Try to stay human, keep leaning. You connect first, you coach second. Has to be in that order. Anytime you try to flip it, if I try to coach you before we've created a connection and before there's trust and before I've actively listened to what it is that you want to get out of this, you'll never give me your best effort and you'll never give me the focus and the discipline required to be great. So it's all about building that connection. And I think that's one of the reasons I've been fairly successful in the performance world is because I've, I've been able to establish those connections. Um, and that had to come with maturity because you know when you're younger, is all about you. When you get older, you realize, boy, it ain't about me, it's about you. And once, once I was able to switch that light switch, my whole world opened up and everything I was doing with players and now in the business world has changed.